This is Rick, Dan, and Sean with Shooter1721 about to uh, unbox Leapers 4 to 16 by 58 millimeters. So we got this big guy right here, and we're going to put him on a Career 2 707. And as I'm walking through, these guys are going to unbox and, and take the scope out. But uh, as far as the 4 to 16, uh, this guy is awesome. It actually has the bubble leveler inside inside the scope so you can see where the level is when you put your scope on there it again has the easy uh, tap that you're able to go uh, light you can go green red and tap it and i actually think it comes out to 36 different colors whatever you want your crosshairs to be what you want your mill dots is the mill dot version you can do now this comes with the mount so this automatically comes with the easy on easy off pick a tiny mounts but since we're going air gun on leapers, I said, hey, uh, Tom, I need some help here. So Tom was really gracious to send me these guys right here. So we were able to get some 30 mil right here, 30 mil air gun. So we're able to attach this scope to this air gun. And he gave me some, these are high mounts since it's a 58 millimeter. We're gonna put that on there today. We wanna thank Birchwood Casey for giving us targets. Again, being able to see your target and what you're hitting from distance in the air gun industry and then what we do here is the trick shots is awesome i love that i just want to thank you guys at birchwood casey for helping us out we also want to thank another person that the ammo that we're going to be doing in our testing is the predator gto get the lead out man these things are awesome we're going to sight the gun in then we're going to show you a nice group with those we'll show you what's possible out of the career we actually shot this over the chronograph, and when we shot it over the chronograph, we were amazed that the Career 2 707 with Get the Lead Out shot a blazing 1254 and 22 caliber. That's right, I said 1254. We were in the 1200s. The Career is an awesome, accurate gun. Uh, there's not a whole lot of them out there. I have one of the first originals here, so we're, we're going to put the leapers on here today. Again, thanks to Tom and David for at Leapers. Let me tell you something. These guys, if you need help with something, their staff is awesome. So really appreciate them. And Mr. Dixon, thank you for the ammo, the way you uh, were gracious in handing things out to us. We really appreciate, appreciate you at uh, Predator International, just all the things that you guys do for us and, and JSB pellets that we have. Well, that's enough talking. Now we're going to get the mountain of scope. Did you put the battery in yet? Yeah. Okay. Did that yesterday. Oh, okay. Because I wanted to see my lavender color that I like. Oh, boy. <laughs> Make sure that happens. I'm putting that in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I take slack. Daryl picks on me all the time. He said, eh, you put on lavender, you'd be shooting lights out. You don't know once you so used to red and green. You don't shoot mm -hmm. with anything else. You got all these options. Start liking all those colors. That'll do. All tight. Hold her up, see how it feels. That's a monster scope on there, ain't it? Yeah, it feels good. I'm fine with it. Okay, here we are with the Leapers 4 to 16. I made a mistake when I was saying earlier, it's not a 58 millimeter, it's a 56. So I just want to do that correction because I, I know this, somebody will point it out. So what we're going to be shooting here is, this is our uh, little bit of crony going on, hopefully. The Predator GTOs at about, what'd you say this guy, how far? 37 yards. 37 yards, okay. We just set the bench down a nice level spot. And uh, no reason at all. We're gonna see what kind of five shot grouping we get with the leapers here. This is a real nice scope. I like the glass, what do you guys think? I mean, you can say whatever, guys. I mean, it's glass, it's etched glass, so. Yeah, it's nice, okay. I got a question. Do you like the different colors? There's 36 different ones? I do. Which one do you like? I like the lavender. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, here we go. So, we're set up. 
Let's see if we can get this locked in here really nice. All right, let's go for five here. Man, that's smoking. It's only doing 1340 over the crony. Can you get a close up of that crony? Does that really say 13? It does. Well, you know, GTOs were always fast. Yeah. Wow. I didn't expect to see that reading. I didn't. That's smoking. anybody was ever wondering about the power of a career now listen if we want super superior accuracy you okay I turn this gun down a little bit smoking them out there at 3 13 10 the only reason I'm doing this is show you we got this thing on high power at 37 yards and we're just gonna see what kind of grouping we can get um, you can turn it down these GTOs will shoot one hole I have no problem with that but I got it max power so I got as fast as I can get it going and uh, this is probably the fastest gun I have in the arsenal. And a 22 caliber career traveling at 1,300 feet a second. I'm kind of speechless. I think it's mind boggling it can be that quick. And it's still keeping with its accuracy. We have a little bit of wind right now. I'd say about eight to 10 to my back coming left to right actually coming up over my back so I can see we're at 1313 13 still on the chrono 1313 13. all right twelve ninety six Guys, is that smoking a lot? Oh, and just so you know, it shot in the same hole as the last one. So. Now, we, we did sight this in the practice round. We were able to chew a nice nice grouping there, but uh, I see this wind is with these alloys. It's just a little bit pushing to the right compared to where we had it. But it's shooting a decent group. So you'll be able to see our first group down on camera. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk it down to green settings. So this has 12 power settings. I'll walk it down to low power just for curiosity. What the heck, right? Let's just see what we got here. I'm going to drop her down and then see what I just have a question. I want to see a nice shot group with five on low power and plus see what the speed is. The 1286. No, you could hear the difference. It was way. No, less that was power. the last. It didn't read. Your last shot on high power. It didn't read at that time. It didn't read it. No. Come out that I have no idea, but I just had this weird feeling. Okay. I think I know why. We got it. All right. Take two. I had it in between a setting. I didn't put the dial. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't know what that did, but it didn't let the pellet come out. Probably really close. The wind's blowing so hard it's shaking the camera. Just so you know, yeah, just so you know, the, the wind, I, I don't know if you heard the guys back there, but the wind is really pushing everything right. That's a shame. That's such a shame, but look at that. What did we get? 1263, and we only went down what? 100 feet per second. Boy, she is pushing right, guys. Yeah, everything's right now. 
wrong 48. I'm going to see if I can get down to. All right, we'll try this one. I want to see how low we can get these to go down now. We know how high we can get them if we can get them down low. Now, I'm going to just so everybody knows, I'm going to move away from the group. I'm actually going to hold a mill left because of the wind. Did it read? You guys see? Watch on this one. The wind's still affecting it. Twelve twenty-four. So we got a nice group down here, but nothing to brag about right now as far as that super solid because the wind picked up so much but there we go we have five shots but you get to see the chrono speeds on the career with the gto's i mean that seeing the 1300s i've never seen that out of an air gun have any of you i don't know if any of you have ever seen a 1300 you know but not bad we did have a nice group down there and the other camera was rolling the whole time couple of interesting things to look at as we were shooting this group and stuff is we can see how the wind I can feel it at my back right now even at 37 yards those GTOs were getting pushed around but um, even on low power here's what is interesting feet per second went down you know by a hundred on low but it didn't drop it just drifted with the wind that's all we saw out of this so I was okay with that I would say if we wanted um, you know a heavier pellet like if we shoot a 21 grain I think a 21 still doing a thousand feet per second and uh, we could definitely uh, give them a shot too and see what they can do um, but I, I know at 20 yards we were able to chew one hole but we got them going super super fast but out of my katana my Benjamin katana my Benjamin discovery I saw groups under a half inch. I actually had a couple of them out of 22. We had three eighths of an inch at uh, 40 yards. So you're pretty happy with that. Well, I hope this is informational. One thing that kind of blew us away is seeing 1300 over the crony and 22 cal. This is Rick, Dan, and Sean with Shooter1721. Thanks for watching.